Today in Home Brewing TV, going solo here in the garage. It's about uh, 90 degrees outside, 87% humidity. It's sweltering out here. But I'll be doing an American Amber Ale, all grain, so stay tuned. Start off today with uh, a rye stout homebrew that uh, the buddy Steve and I made up together. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Anyway, it's going to take a while to hit the, the 186. I'm going to need to add to my grains. I'm going to put the grains in their cooler. Temperature the cool is cooler, so it all brings it down to uh, I think I'm aiming for 146 for my uh, mash temperature. Uh, we'll see what we get. Man, this lighting's horrible. Well, while we're waiting for the heat up, I figured I'd uh, share with you uh, my little hop crop I've got going here. My uh, my two hop vines. They're both first year, which is kind of freaking me out because. Uh, the Chinook that's over there on the uh, on the right took off like mad in the Cascade. Is acting a little bit more like a first year uh, first year rhizome. And you can see here that the uh, the Cascade is just kind of crawling up there. It's been uh, growing for about a month and a half now. Not too bad. But the uh, dang the Chinook all the way up, man hanging off there and it's starting to flower too it's starting to get these beautiful little flower buds all over the place this should be one heck of a good crop on this guy all right hit the uh, temperature I want move four and a half gallons over to my uh, mash ton <laughs> And this thermometer I found out is four degrees off, so we're actually at 151.3, which is perfect. Now that I got the mash started, I'm gonna heat the rest of this water up to boiling and put it in my barge tank. Uh, hold that there because it should drop down uh, and the sparge at about 170 after everything cools down. That's the theory. That's it until the mash is done. Go grab a beer. All right, now for vanilla porter. 
This one I brewed up with my sister. It was an all grain. Let's see how this guy turned out. It was nice and dark. Mm, smells excellent. Oh yeah. Thanks right, for watching. Cheers, Cassie. Now that we've got a little bit of time, I want to talk about this contraption while we're waiting on the mash. This is uh, something I made up for uh, dropping hops in. It's just a piece of PVC pipe, uh, some clips, and then a rod that I just drilled a hole through here. Just sit right on top. Bucket. And I just take this hot bag. I'm going to attach it from the inside to these clips. drop the hops in, they'll go into this bag instead of just floating around, floating around in the water. It'll make for a heck of a lot clearer beer. Just a thought. Alright, so now what a lot of people will do um, is they will manually bore off the uh, mash quarter at a time, kind of dump it into a bucket, recirculate it real slowly. Do that two or three times to uh, settle the, the mash bed so that you get nice clear, uh, clear runnings through there. You don't have any grains coming out. It's not what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, because it's easier, and it's all the same anyway. I will take a strainer. I'm going to slowly run the mash into the strainer. That is going to catch all of the grains that would normally be run through by warlocking. Uh, So I, uh, I screwed up someplace and I, I ran short. I only got five gallons in there and I've run out of water. So what I'm gonna try, because I don't really wanna lower the gravity any lower than it already is, um, I'm going to get some hot tap water, as hot as I can get it, run it through the grains and try to bring myself up that way. All right, I got uh, tap water, uh, hot tap water. Let's see how hot it is. Yeah, it's only coming out of my tap at about 100 degrees. So what happens when you have kids. Don't make it too hot. I'm just gonna pour over the top here. Diffuse it with the spoon. Alright, six. 
Yeah, a little bit more. Six and about six and a half there instead of six and a quarter, but I can boil that down. Definitely gonna add some DME to this. Get hot. Well, since I got some time to kill while this thing's uh, heating up, um, let me ask you this. Uh, we call it Home Brewing TV, uh, but at the beginning you notice it's, it's Homeland Brewery on the logo. Now the lawyers say that it is too similar to Homeland Security's logo, which I can't blame them for that. That's kind of what we took it from because that's where I came from. But uh, so what do you guys think the logo should be like? Put the your uh, information down there in the comments. I mean, I'm not quite sure. I like the home, Homeland Brewery, uh, or maybe you don't. Well, give me some ideas for a, a name. But uh, we're going to keep doing this, and it's going to get bigger, and I hope you guys enjoy this stuff, but uh, I appreciate your comments. Names of breweries or, or, or logo ideas for Homeland Brewery, however you want to do it. All right, we've hit boil. I'm going to add, uh, I measured out a pound of DME. Add the DME, stir it up, hopefully not boil over. And then uh, I'm going to take a uh, gravity read see where we are and I'm going to add the hops in for the beginning of the world. So in preparation here for the end of the boil, I've got the output of my uh, merging cooler connected to uh, a mash kettle to collect the water. I hate wasting the water, so I'm gonna what, uh, what I'm gonna do is recycle it, use it to clean the equipment. as well. Better than dumping it all down the drain. Uh, I have the last ounce of uh, Cascade.
Start chilling. Start stirring. Okay. We're about 75 degrees. Now, since I forgot to use my little hot bag, I am going to uh, a nice little vortex in here. And what that's going to do for us is it's going to keep all those hops, all that sediment, and pull it towards the center. When the salt is all in the center, I want to drain it out, we won't have near as much stuff in my carboy. <laughs> Since you want everything absolutely sanitized, it's going to touch your beer, especially after it's done boiling. Star sand. Man, this hole is soaking in star sand too. The vortex should have done it. It's sure done its job. Go. All right, move down to the basement. All we've got left to do is uh, aerate the wart and uh, add the yeast, and that'll be done. Make sure there's plenty of oxygen in there for those yeast. All right, got a package of yeast and some sterilized scissors. Just going to dump it right in. Well, there you have it. Blow off tube. It's ready to go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please uh, remember to click the subscribe and like buttons. Also, if you have any comments, please put those below. I'm still looking for uh, either brewery name ideas or uh, ideas for the logo for Homeland Brewery. Put those down there and uh, keep brewing, my friends. Burnt out another bulb already. Yeah. And then from there, I'm going to be cooling it and siphoning it over to my uh, other oh, things called. I'm going to be filling my uh, kettle up to uh, something. Oh my god. <laughs> I was knocked over my beer.